Hello guys, in the today's video I am going to show you something that uh, some of you has asked me about in our Discord channel and even though it's not related to Rewrite Genius or anything, I want to simply show you how you can do it yourself. And it's about installing the voice cloning AI software, however, on a run pod, on a run pod, which is like basically cloud GPU that you can use for a cheaper price to run all kinds of like all of these AI models, LLMs and stuff like that, stable diffusion, etc. etc. So let me get straight into it without wasting your time. Uh, go to runpo.com.io, sorry. Um, you have to add some balance to your account in order to use it. So start with 25 bucks as everybody, that's the minimum amount. And then once you are done with that, just come into templates and pick runpod PyTorch 2.1, the one where it says CUDA 11.8. And once you have done that, press on deploy. Right, so you have deployed it, everything is good. Now you have to pick a GPU. And as you can see, there are a lot of GPUs that you can use to um, to do this. However, I do recommend that you are using something like um, something like uh, where is it? RTX 390, 3090, if you can, if it's available. If it's not, then uh, RTX A5000 is also a very very good um, alternative. Once you have picked one of those, come to the customized deployment. Here you want to add around 60 gigabytes and here 50, we're basically allocating disk to a space to the disks uh, so we can um, do stuff and have enough memory to install of our, uh, of our, all of our things. Now for the ports, please add the following ports in here. You're not required to add this one, but just in, in case of like, it's a measurement of security. Basically in case this one has some issues, we're gonna use this one. So once you have the same thing in here, just press, don't forget about the disk, press set overrides. Cool. Now uh, we're going to press continue, deploy, and ta-da, our pod is being deployed and is going to take only a little bit. So let's go into our pod, see how it's going. So you are going to get something like logs. And here you can see where your pod is finished and what it still needs to install. You can go into logs, system logs, see how it's going on. But this usually takes like one to three minutes maximum. So as you can see, we are um, done, the pod is running, which means we can connect. One we can connect, we are going to connect to the Jupyter Lab for now because the ports are not set up for our um, voice cloning um, software to run. So we're gonna connect to the Jupyter Lab. Once we are here, things are becoming much, much simpler. Make sure that you are in the workspace at all times. That is very, very important. So you're gonna go, if, you, if you're not in there, you're just gonna look for the workspace on the home tab gonna find it here and ta-da, you are done. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is open a terminal. Now, you don't need to get into technical here. I'm gonna show you the basics. So, apt update. What this does, it's updating our, our pod and our um, Ubuntu to like newer versions. And then apt upgrade. So we have everything up to date when we are doing everything. Then press Y, enter and we are going to have everything installed and up to date so we can run our software and AI, LLMs or whatever you want to run without any kinds of issues. Now do this every time you're starting a new pod because it's making it more optimal and better and you know, everything, every, having everything up to date is actually much, much better than not having everything up to date. Then you can just type clear, press enter and it's going to clear your uh, thing. So now retrieval, this is the um, GitHub of the official voice cloning uh, AI. It's a web UI, which is very easy to navigate with. And if you are interested in seeing details, you can go down here, press on English, and you can see how everything works if you're curious. 
and we are not only into that in this video we're going to go into releases as you can see down here and we are using an nvidia gpu as you already know it's an rtx uh, a5000 we are going to copy this just Control c or right click copy it and we're going to do this w get and the other, then you are going to paste it allow so you can paste it click around it so you don't have to uh, write continue writing and enter and now it is uh, downloading and this usually takes around let's say around um, two to four minutes as you can see here is like 86 seconds now you guys just can you just go and grab a cup of coffee tea whatever you're drinking and just relax until it's being downloaded and we can um, come back to it later um, I've decided not to skip this one so I can actually show you in case there's an error coming up because sometimes it may happen that you get an error during this process which happened to me like two times but that was maybe because I was running different pods I'm not certain and for those of you who are interested in Rewrite Genius and only about the Rewrite Genius content um, I have made some new changes as well in the past two days I have upgraded again some of the, the performance and everything it's a little bit faster now I am planning on bringing in more features but that is still taking a little bit of time as they are being developed and it's not it's not really an easy task since I am the only developer it's not really an easy task so uh, as you can see this is done cool nice and now we are having it right here as you can see up here this is the software however it did come as a 7z you can press F2 on it so you can rename it and we're going to rename it to RVC just for the ease of use and here I'm going to show you how to unzip it okay which is actually really really simple all we have to do is to install a package called 7-zip which can be installed by going to type a command and that is like this apt install p7 zip slash full and once you have done that press yes why we want to install it cool as you can see we have our own software here we are going to type 7z x which means stands for unzip all the files and then our archive archive which is rvc.7z that's why i said ease of use so you don't have to type that whole name and the archive is being now um, unzipped and you are going to have it right here for your own use and whatever you need it to and of course to run the software and do everything uh, you want thank you guys for watching um, and if you want a video on how to uh, clone a voice or anything like that let me know I will uh, continue where we left off and uh, we can do it again so until next time take care happy holidays and whatever you wish for